Is it not gonna fit? Oh boy. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Land Lady and welcome to my channel. Well, we just got here and Dagny is leaving. <laughs> she has to get home. Okay, bye. It was good to see you briefly. <laughs> and we're gonna head inside. So I guess it's just us today. Cause Dagny had to run away. All right, well, I absolutely love the big windows in here. And uh, we're gonna see what we can find. Too bad Dagny couldn't stay because I would have just won the game, I think. It appears they've added a lot to this booth. I don't think there was as many goodies in here the last time. Look, there's a Jim Shore. I found one of those at the Goodwill one time. I think that's about retail though. I like the looks of this bowl. It's got frit on the outside. Either frit or paint. I'm not quite sure. Frit would be little pieces of, of glass on the outside. Looks like they've got $15 on that. I kind of like it because it reminds me of snow. I think it's a great winter piece, decorative piece. Um, and it's only 15 bucks. I think if it was any other time of the year, I would probably pass on it, but I think it's nice for winter and Christmas coming. Well, I absolutely love this booth for all of their mid-century furniture. And I just came across this table and chairs set. Um, it's $5.95. The chairs are in such good shape. A lot of the times I come across them and they've got rips and tears in them. And that comes with two leaves here. I think that's great. I don't have any room for it. <laughs> I already have a vintage uh, kitchen table. I've wandered across some Christmas and this little Santa with the eyelashes caught my eye. Made in Taiwan, $6. Oh, look, <laughs> she looks familiar, doesn't she? Let's pull her out. She looks like the angel I saw at uh, Goodwill the other day. $12 for her. She's got the spaghetti detail. She's got both her wings and her original Napco sticker and marking. The coloring on this is much better than the one that I saw at Goodwill the other day actually see how she was supposed to be painted, I think. <laughs> so I like that. I'm going to set that down right here and check out this Fenton Deer. Fenton Deer signed. Only $20. I'll take a Fenton Deer for 20 bucks. Well, at Burning Bridge, I had found two uh, peacocks for our Christmas tree. And here, this looks like a quail, I think. <laughs> hands are full so I can't pick it up and get a closer look but um, I like the color on it and I think our Christmas tree could use more color so um, I'll get this in addition to the two peacocks that I picked up right now we have those uh, white doves we have tons of them on our tree but I want to add a little bit of color from our birds so uh, we're gonna take this up front hmm I've spotted two things I like on this shelf First is this guy. He is a wooden carved owl. I'm surprised there's no signatures or anything on that. I love the color. He is carved from wood, hand painted. What do we have on that? $12.99. We'll do $12.99 on that. And the other piece, of course, is this Twinala owl. $22.99 on him. I'm not quite sure we could um, double our money on this. So I think I'm going to pass on this guy. But I will take a little colorful owl. 
This is the second time I've come across this exact same bear recently. And both times, his head was broken. I don't, I don't understand. I guess that's a common, um, common thing that happens with these toys. <laughs> same thing with the last one. I was like, what's wrong with his neck? Here we have some salt and pepper shakers. I almost walked by and then I said, you know what? I should at least check this booth. And I absolutely love these black cats. One of them has a red flower. Oh, there's damage. That is such a bummer. How much do they want? $12. I'll tell you what, if they weren't damaged, I'd probably pay even 20 for them. But unfortunately, because of the damage, I'm going to pass on them. That's so disappointing. I've got a few dishes back here with enamel on them. Although I don't, oh, we got a price. $8 for both pieces. That's pretty good. You can see the enamel is good on them. A lot of the times the petals of the flowers will be chipped off. In this case, they're in good condition. I'm trying to, the bottom looks to be pretty polished as well. I'm gonna take these up with me. They have some really nice majolica on these shelves. I was just noticing. And um, it's really reasonably priced. The picture there is $12, that one's $16. Yeah, I'm not real sure about this. Um, it just, it doesn't feel right. I still like it, I think it's a great plate. It would be good for springtime and Easter. You can see there some of the paint is chipping on that. I think that's probably why. Um, the majolica here is all glazed and this one is painted, but uh, I think I'm gonna set it back Maybe right there, and not empty. <laughs> that empty one, instead of trying to get back. Well, we have some Fiesta wear here. Um, I usually avoid it because I don't know it and it makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> but my viewers have informed me that the color I want to be looking for most is lilac. I can, I can do that, I can, I can live with that role. Um, I'm not really seeing any lilac here. That looks more like a gray. So I feel like that's pretty reasonable for Fiesta though. They've got $10 on those plates. Yeah, only 10 bucks on those plates. I feel like that's really reasonable. And a lot of different colors. I know a lot of people like to mix and match the colors. This is the shelf where we got the little trinket boxes the last time. Looks like they're all gone now. Is this vintage? $15 for the Christmas tray. Is that Santa Claus wearing a crown? <laughs> I didn't realize that Santa was royalty. We've also got lots of Fitz and Floyd in here in the original boxes. Those are Ernesto. Sweet little Tonala donkey here in Mexico, $8. You have a crack. Yeah, it looks like he's got a crack starting out there under his neck. Is, is this? Hmm. And then this, I believe, is World's Fair, New York World's Fair, 1965. The Unisphere. Um, how much do they have on that? Eight dollars on that. Not sure about it. All right. This booth is always very impressive. Prices aren't that great for resale, but it's always worth looking and seeing if anything anything pops out. <laughs> Got a Fultz Redbird plate here. I love that. It's $45. I don't think there's any discounts on this booth. Ooh, that's a nice piece. I love the etching. How much we got on that? $10? You know what though, I almost wonder if there was supposed to be a lid because there is a lip there. $15 for the lid to a sugar bowl. Hmm. 
That's actually interesting. They're marked Japan. It's a little salt and pepper shaker. <laughs> a little cup of coffee. So at the mall. I do kind of like that. That's not a salt and pepper shaker I've ever seen before. All right, so this is one of our favorite booths here at Toll Booth, and um, she is in the process of rearranging. So um, we're gonna check it out real quick. What is this? Enchantment music box. I thought it was a little heavy. That's probably why, because it's a music box. Beautiful lacquer box here, and these are nice. These look like they've got some age to them. A flow blue design. I love these vases, and I think I say that every time I come to this booth. I don't remember that one having damage to it. I could be mistaken, and this one's got a crack. I don't think they did the last time, but I, I might be wrong. Little candle votive there. Here we have a little fairing pig. Seven dollars on the pig wall pocket. Or is it a vase? I don't know, but it's a fairing pig. I have a really hard time telling if these are um, Japan or Germany. It does look like he's got a little boo boo there on his ear. Public telephone call office. I think that. The red mark on that means it is possibly on sale. Oh, I do like it. I'm just not sure about the ear. These fairing pigs do rather well. But I think I'll pass on it today. Alright, so I have all my stuff. I just checked out and I'm on my way out and I noticed this mushroom ottoman 175. I don't know how I missed that the first time through, but that's so cool. All right, well our total spend here today was $73. We got a few goodies. Um, I'm excited about that planter. I really liked the one I saw the other day and I was so upset that <laughs> the wing was broken, so this, it just came back around and now I have one. Um, so yeah, $73. Uh, I did go down to the basement because it was cold and I assumed the basement would be really cold and I'm just really not here for it today. <laughs> I guess I should have had more layers on. It's my fault. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get out of here now. I think I'm going to head back to the shop. And I'm going to take you with me because I have some stuff at the shop that's just been piling up. So I think that's what we're going to do next. Um, obviously, we weren't here for very long. So I will take you with me back to the shop and show you what I've got going on there. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Actually, I'll just, I'll just see you. Okay, well here we are at the shop. We've got little Julia here with us. <laughs> and we are actually gonna load up the cart and take it over to Carlisle Antique Mall and add some stuff Yay! to our booths. Juliet's gonna help us. She's a good helper. There we go. So here is where I have been putting stuff that I've priced for the Antique Mall in anticipation of bringing it over to the mall. Uh, we've got a donkey planter, and I can't remember if my last one sold. This is the Christmas tree that I've had um, at the shop for a while, waiting for the opportune moment to bring it over. We've also got this. This is a Murano bowl. Um, it's too big to ship. It's not something I wanted to mess with. I've got this box down here. And um, I think that lamp up there is priced as well. So we're going to load some of this and uh, get it over to the antique mall. Okay, so here is the cart. We've got this funky lamp in here that I don't really want to let go, but also it's a little too funky for my style. So I've actually got $280 on that because I have never seen a shade like that, ever. So um, I feel like it's unique and we'll, we'll go from there. I also have this guy. And uh, we have 95 on that. I don't have a shade for it, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, we've got Pledge for the hutch that we brought over this morning. Yeah, we're not going to be able to lift this really high once we get to the door. But the truck sits higher than the dock, so we're going to be good with the feet. Okay. I'm just going to slide it because I don't want that to happen. I'm lying up. 
this with my weaker arm. Ashton, multitasking, sissy in her, in her Burberry scarf. All right, so, <laughs> like I said, I sold some furniture, and we've got a lot of empty space. So, Andrew and Tim are bringing down the hutch that we're going to put here, so we're going to have to find a new spot for this, and the kids are going to help me add stuff to the booth. Um, we can buy our own candy canes to put on the trees. Please? No, we're not going to take candy canes. Stop. All right, so I found this in my booth, and I'm not exactly sure where it belongs. Don't, don't show the viewers that. Oh, those naughty ladies. Andrew's got all sorts of comic books. Uh, we might straighten it up for him before it comes down. Make sure everything's in order. Otherwise, he's going to be upset. Unfortunately, What's this that? was... Is that a real fish? Yeah, unfortunately, this was damaged the last time Angela and I were here. Everything else looks to be in order. So, I think we're good. You know, except for the comic books being dis a little disheveled. What's that mean? It means they're all mixed up. Um, I think it looks pretty decent. So, I'm going to start unloading stuff into here. Or maybe I should wait till I might do a little bit, and then we'll wait until they get the hutch down here. Almost... All right, you're there, so go your way a hair. Just, yep, okay, now. Is it not gonna fit? Oh boy. You know what we're gonna have to do? We're gonna have to lay it this way and then stand it up. Yeah. Okay, so let's bring her back down. Lift up. Is that a basket down here? That was already down here. Let's go back upstairs. That'll give you guys a few extra inches sure to maneuver. Will. All right. That's well, just the opposite than what yeah, you were yeah, thinking. Yeah, yeah. And then we'll just spin it. Okay. Man, you bought this and it was made in China. <laughs> What? <laughs> China! I think it means China cabinet, hopefully. It's American Martinsville. I'm really hoping it wasn't made in China. Made in China? I want my money back. <coughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. And that doesn't look like it was ever two pieces. No. Always one piece. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, most definitely. Would you say it's American Martinsville? Martinsville, yeah. yeah. I don't think I've ever heard of that. Yeah, it's a nice piece. I, don't, I yeah, love it's it. It's a nice mid century brand. Giving it a good old pledge bath. Yeah, I needed it. You know, I'm thinking maybe this would look nice in our dining room. Not too late now. <laughs> I am not moving this bear. Oh gosh, I don't. I don't Same blame you. Same way as a ton. I don't blame you. And it's short ceilings. Like I literally had this on the cart, mm -hmm. on its feet. I had to open the big door on the elevator. Oh boy. And then I had, we had to take it off the cart to get it off the elevator down here because of the short ceiling. Oh boy. And then I had to go up and get that, put it on its side. <laughs> like seriously, I'm not How, how much do you love me though? <laughs> do you really want to That's ask that That's the look question? I was hoping for. Do you really want to ask that question? <laughs> All right, well here is the finished product. And it's looking really sharp. I think I feel like it is. <laughs> I kind of think I need a little bit more stuff. It's kind of a little bit. I need a chair over there. My chair is sold. So we have four upstairs in storage, four white ones. Um, so I'm probably going to stick one of those chairs there because it's just an empty corner. Um, I do have the blue lamp and I moved in the red lamp. We obviously still have the horse head lamp here. And um, I think I think it's looking pretty good. We didn't restock the case today. But just checking that's locked. Uh, we didn't restock it today, but we got some nice stuff in here. And I think Andrea was over not that long ago. Um, we've still got the hearse here, and then he put in all of these coins. I feel like the coin section just keeps growing and growing, and he did give me permission to film his coins. <laughs> just kidding. But he sold through all of his swords up there. Case is doing really well. 
Yeah, I got that for you. Will that work for your Xbox? Mm -hmm. Yeah? I did good? Mm-hmm. Sweet. Three controllers. Now you have three? <laughs> and you are a candy cane thief. <laughs> oh, look at his mama. Well, they were free. <laughs> it didn't look like anyone else was taking any of them, so... You took one for mommy, and you took one for yourself, and you took one for brother, and you're going to eat them all, right? So while I'm sitting here in my throne, supervising, um, Juliet is over here unwrapping all of these treasures. Ha ha! Ha ha, you're doing such a good job. Ooh, don't trip. Um, and these came from Shelby. Um, Shelby brought us these, so um, we're unpacking everything, and we're going to see... Uh, see what we can offer her for all of this. There's this box and I think this box over here. So Juliet is doing the hard work of unwrapping it. And then we're, we're going to survey it all. This is fun. It's fun. Look at all the piggies. I know. They're so cute. I like them. The piggy face. Juliet's going to film all of this for you. She unwrapped it all. And, and it looks really nice displayed on the table. I think you did a very good job, Juliet. Um, what do we see? Lots of these things. Pigs. Lots of pigs. And lots of blue carnival glass. And that is Indiana Glass Company. I believe this is a wedding bowl here. We've got cups. We've got a pitcher back here. And then we've got some really adorable little piggy planters. That... Three little pigs, it says. That looks like it could be Royal Copley. How are you? You, you want... Okay, I'm going to let go of the camera. Don't make them dizzy. Okay. All right. This back here... Oops. This one looks like it could be American Bisque with that painting on it. I'm not positive about that. We're always speculating when we're doing these hauls because we haven't researched it yet. Then we've got some marigold... Um, flora gold is what this is called. It looks like Jeanette flora gold. No, this is this. It's not quite carnival glass, but it's got that orange iridescence to it. Yes, true. And then we've got a beautiful mug. Oh, and it's signed on the bottom. Look at that. Got a signature. I think I'm holding that the right way. <laughs> there we go. And then back here we've got this. I didn't go that far. Art pottery. Usually I get some that test plates. So there you go on that. Water. I'm signed on the bottom as well. Because She's got some really nice stuff here. And this big giant pig. The, that's you know, your favorite, you isn't it? Know. He's a piggy bank. Let's see if he has any markings on the bottom. Ready? That's the biggest one that I found in the whole. His little room. tail. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> that's trash though. That's gross. <laughs> He's really cute though, isn't he? Yeah. With his little face. It looks like it looks like a turd. <laughs> oh, Julia, you made me laugh. So yeah, that's everything we got. I think we got some great stuff, huh? Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day. And I've posted a link to that down in the description.